Well, welcome back, folks, to the house that never sleeps. Uh, I got a little thing here today I'm going to share with you. A lot of people don't realize this or even know it. Uh, when your frets start to buzz out, okay? If you hear a fret buzzing on a certain string or a certain fret, or, you know, if you just hear a buzz that starts happening, doesn't necessarily mean that you need a fret job, or there's doesn't that necessarily mean there's anything wrong with your frets, actually. And I'm going to show you that. Uh, I explained this, I talked, touched on it on another video briefly before, and I got the old Martin back out, I'm going to start picking it again, put the Blue Ridge away for a while, let it rest. But this thing been laying in the case for, well, I played the other Martin before the Blue Ridge, and then the Blue Ridge, since I hurt my hand, worse and now I'm switching back to this so it's been these strings have been on here I don't know six months probably it's been played quite a lot before I put it in the case anyway the strings are really rusty on it and uh, listen to this so I hope the camera gets this hear that sitar sound slide on these strings they are so rusty but that sound is what I'm talking about this guitar well most uh, acoustics do it on the unwound strings now what's happening there the strings are so rusty okay these are 0.013s to 0.056s which is kind of heavy, I know, but it's what I like. And if your strings get rusty enough, that corrosion and rust and shit builds up on your string and causes that string to actually get bigger, okay? So I want to do a short video, just a quick short video, it ain't going to be very long, I hope it's not another long one, on uh, why buzzing occurs sometimes when your frets are perfect. Now these frets are not perfect but they're real close to it. It's getting, it's going to need a fret dressing before long but this is not the frets doing this. See there it doesn't do it at all on the first fret. Maybe a little bit. There you can hear it. All the way down the neck I can hear that. Now I've already taken a micrometer, like I said, this, this string, this first string should be a .013, I checked it, and in certain places where a lot of rust is, it, it, it reads as much as .014 in some places. It's gotten that much bigger, that's why it's buzzing. If you have your action set so low as I have this on this guitar, and, in, and your strings get rust on them and corrosion and that stuff starts to form on your strings. Rust is what it is. The string actually gets bigger, okay? And in turn, it causes, causes that. It's not so bad on the, like I said, the wound strings. It's just the unwound ones. You can even hear it in that D. But I'm not playing all that hard. say you cannot slide on these they're so rusty man but what I'm going to do 
got a brand new pair of MSP 7200s here. These are coated, uh, treated for superior performance and long life. These are not as coated as elixir strings, and I like them. That's why I use them, because they're not as coated. I think they're like 3 microns thick, the coating, as compared to elixirs, what is it, 17 microns or 15? I feel that these don't affect the tone as much because of less coating. But they have some coating on them. They last a little bit longer than the, the unwound strings, which is what I use if I go into a studio. I use these, the MS42, MSP 4200s, because there's no coating at all on these. But if I'm just sitting around the house jamming, practicing, like, uh, you know, through the winter time, you know, or not going to be recording for a while, I stick a set of these on there. Because then I can practice and not worry about this. That funky sitar noise. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put these new strings on this guitar. And I'm not going to video the whole thing. I don't want to bore you through me changing the strings. Because all I'm going to do is just take these off one at a time. Put these on one at a time, and I'm going to show you the difference. That buzzing, that sitar sound, will completely go away with new strings. So if you hear, you know, if you're buzzing mysteriously appears on your, this can happen on electric guitars too, if your action is low enough. Depending on how low your action is and, you know, what gauge string you use and how you set it up, it can happen on electrics too. You probably wouldn't hear it as much if you have a lot of effects and stuff on. But on acoustic, you're going to hear it because, you know, that's what you get. But I'm going to stop the camera, put these strings on, tune it up, stretch them out, get them, you know, where I can uh, play a little bit. And I'll bring you back and show you. I'm not going to touch the neck relief. I'm not going to touch the saddle or the action. I'm not going to touch anything. The only thing I'm going to do is put these new strings on it and nothing else. And I'll bring you back and I'll show you that this noise... disappear. It'll be gone. That's for it, man. And like I say, my Blue Ridge does it too because I've got all three of the guitars I alternate between. I've got them all set up really close to the same and all three of them do this. And it's because the action is so low. And, uh, you know, like I say, Russ gets on those strings. A 13 becomes a 14. Uh, you know, a 9 becomes a 10. Uh, 10 becomes 11. If you got your action set really low, that's what's going to happen. So let me put these new strings on. I'll bring you right back. It's going to take me a little bit here. Not very long to change them. I'll bring you back and uh, show you. And I promise I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to change the strings, nothing else. And I'll show you that that sitar noise will go away and there's nothing wrong with your frets. Hold on. <laughs> practicing but uh, check this out I don't know if you can see this or not I don't want to get out of the light but if you can see that I have wound those strings right down on the uh, the peg as far as I can get them I don't know man if you can see that or not but yeah baby all I did, the only thing I did was put on new strings. I didn't touch anything, didn't tighten anything up or loosen anything. <laughs> mm. 
and you'll notice that sitar sound. It's completely gone. It is, there's no sign of it. So if you get a buzzing string, don't uh, immediately blame it on your frets because it might be your fault. If your strings are rusted bad enough to increase in diameter when all that corrosion and all that crap and all that shit gets built up on there, enough of it to make the string bigger, it's going to buzz. It's like putting on heavier strings with the exact same uh, action. completely gone now. <laughs> Shit. stretching out. I stretched them as much as I could, but... It's cold. It's cold in this room. This room is a. Uh, I measured it one time. I forget. I think it's like a 32 by 36. It's a big ass room. This room that we're in right here right now. One great big room. And we don't have any heat in here. And it's like 15 degrees outside right now. I'm just the only heat that's in here right now. It's built. It's a. It's a room of the house that never sleeps. But and it's built. You know. It doesn't have any heat ducts in here is what I'm saying. So I have a little gas wall heater over there. I turn it on when it really is cold. But I haven't done it yet this year. And it's cold in here. My hands are cold. And I can't play with this shit. But hopefully this will get the point across. Uh, those strings. So I'm hitting them pretty hard right there. Hopefully it'll get the point across. You know, when you hear your, especially your acoustic guitar buzzing, don't always uh, necessarily, it's not necessarily the frets that are doing it. It can be your strings rusted, you know. Like I said, I took a micrometer and the strings I took off of here, I checked them. The first string is a .013 
And there were places, you know, not all the way down the string, but there were places down over the string. It actually read .014. It was that much bigger. And that's why that it was, it, sounded, it had that sitar sound. for that but hopefully I proved my point uh, there again if you have buzzing in your acoustic guitar look at the strings put never set a guitar up with old rusty strings on it you can't get it right and if you're sure of the setup as I am this one and it starts buzzing it's probably your rusty strings if you are absolutely sure your strings has no rust or they're brand new and it still buzzes then, you know, yeah, a good possibility is your frets. But, uh, if you're sure your frets, like I say, and your setup and everything is good, then it's probably your strings and your fault, not your guitars. So, uh, hopefully that's a tip that'll help you all today. Uh, it's just, I wanted to put new strings on here, and I heard that buzzing sound. I was going to, I'm going to start playing this guitar again. This is a Martin uh, Tuminski, came from the custom shop. This is number 69. I don't know how many they're up to right now. But this is number 69 of however many there is. And I really like this guitar. I should do a review on it someday because it's a sweet guitar when it's set up right. It needs a little bit of touching up, but I didn't want to do it right now. I wanted to just change the strings and show you guys how much you know, how much difference how that satar sound new strings and it did it went completely away Cheers. I'll see you again.